Yo, what's up guys, Rico here, and today I'm reading out another color correction tutorial. Last time I done this was like six months ago, so obviously need needs updated because yeah. Um my last one was just the same as Zance to be honest. But yeah. So let's do this. This is how I make my CCs, here we go. What I've got here in my in my composition is just a freeze frame of a cinematic I just recorded like last week. So what we're going to do, we're going to go layer, new adjustment layer. I'm going to call this CC. There we go. I like to change the color to yellow. Actually, no, I'll change it to red. Let's do that. And first step is to load the magical looks. So put that on there and click edit and it should come up. If we give it some time, come on. Okay. So... Now we've opened magical looks. Um, we're gonna go through all these um, categories and pick out the things that'll make our, you know, clip cinematic and stuff look better. So, first thing I do is, where is it? I normally do like colors to three by first. Here we go. And depending on what you want to do, I like to just put everything like orangey ready. Cause I don't really like any other colors. Apart from blue, I'd maybe go blue, but that's about it. And then if you do that and then go to the sides, you can pick how saturated the color is. So I like to do it like just really unsaturated. So as you can see, that made a difference. Turn off and on. A slight difference. So yeah, next step I do is warm and cool. I normally make it a little bit cooler. There we go. Like 0.8. Okay, 0.38 is a good one. And then I open up film grain. As you guys already know, I love film grain. I put color mode on and I put it to like 10. There we go, as you can see, you can see all the nice grains there. Um, then what I do is not in here. Subject matte. Do up matte. Okay. I normally do light flex, yeah. Light flex is a big big need it's a big must have um i like it quite you know not really noticeable so i'll go minus 10 as you can see it's not very noticeable at all actually let's put it like minus seven minus six let's go there we go so it's still there you know and what i do from here let's go lens nothing in here camera not really much stuff I think we might be done yeah we're done so click finished and as you can see that looks super nice already um oh my god what's wrong with me? i want you to go to my desktop there we go so there we go we have um a bit of our cc done then what i like to do is bring in sharpness sharpen uh, there we go I'm basically like just kind of improvising here. I don't remember everything I do step by step. I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head. I don't put that this one actually. I put it like 45. As you can see, it looks super nice and super crisp. Then unsharp mask. And I've been doing this with all my CCs for like as long as I can remember. Just change the amount to like 60. Actually, I'm going to bring it up to like 35. So as you can see, there's a big difference right now. And then what I do is curves. Curves is a plays a big part of the CC actually. So what we want to do here, we want to make an S, like kind of like a wavy S, like a lazy S, I think it's called. But yeah, put uh, click there here, like run here, and slide that over a little bit, and then click here, slide that like down. As you can see, that made a big difference. Like just made all the shadows and stuff so much easier and nicer to see. And then let me let me try to think. Oh, hue and saturation. I actually changed the hue a little bit as well. So like, let me click on this and just click the up bar on your keyboard to change it a little bit. Let's change it this way. There we go. So as you can see, it kind of changes the colors of everything and just made everything look a lot nicer. Um, what else do I do? Oh, I always 
bringing the master shot direction to like minus 20 as well. So, let me try to think what else I'd. Oh, glow. S glow. Nope. S underscore glow. There we go. Bring this on. Brightness. Leave that like 1. Threshold like 0.3. There we go. Just a little tiny glow. As you can see, and yeah, our CC is looking super nice right now. I'm just trying to think, is there anything else I do? I don't think there is. Um, no, there's like not much more I do. So yeah, that's it. This is a, this has been how to make a simple, nice, clean CC for edges, fuck songs, stuff like that. You know, this can go with any song to be honest. Indie, I can see this being in the edit or um yeah any type of rock um yeah you can name it apart from i don't think this could be dmb couldn't be dmb so yeah this has been how to make a clean simple cc instead of after effects i've been rego and i might remember to leave a like if this video helped you and comment for more tutorials and stuff like that subscribe i've been rego and i'm out peace